Everton and Burnley are in midweek action. Uh, Leeds, meanwhile, with just one game remaining, which will be on the final day of the season. Uh, Nadem, it is still all to play for, isn't it? That late equaliser for Leeds, a real game changer. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly was. I think for a neutral, you know, it's going to make for really, really sort of tantalising viewing on that final day. But I suppose for those teams down there and having sort of felt it myself, this stuff is disgusting. <laughs> like seeing these goals going in, the red cards, everything like that, it's so stressful because, you know, you're trying to just focus on yourself, but you can't help but pay attention to the stuff going on around you. And that last minute goal there at Leeds, it's so important for them because you see how bad their goal difference is. Mm. You know, that minus 38, you can't afford to be on the same points as Burnley. To be going down on goal difference it's going to break your spirit and it's just a big test now for those two sides for Everton in particular and Burnley with the extra midweek game can they find a way to get three points on the board so they go into that last game of the season in control of their own destiny because if they don't they're going to be some really really nervous faces really nervous fans when Sunday comes because for example as well like Arsenal I think of playing Everton yeah Arsenal potentially trying to finish in the top four so there's nothing there's nothing easy there whatsoever. So it, it's, very, it's very interesting for the neutral, but like I say, speaking from experience, being involved in any of those teams right now, it's awful. Aston, <laughs> Aston Villa are involved in everything. Um, they will play host to Burnley. That is on Thursday. Meanwhile, it's Everton against the Crystal Palace. Uh, the bookies still have Leeds as favourite jewels to go down. Yeah, and I, th and I think that's, that's right. Burnley had more momentum. They lost, obviously, today against Spurs, but they hit the post. They actually didn't play badly. The penalty was debatable, I guess. But they had some momentum since Mike Jackson took over Sean Dyche. With Leeds, it was pretty much the other way around. I know this, this, this goal, this equaliser right at the end, that will, will leave the spirit for sure for at least another week. But what, in midweek, if they see both Everton... Then, then I think the, the, the spirit will go down again before that last game of the season. It's going to be fantastic, but just imagine that pressure on both Everton and Burnley in midweek when they know that even more than the last game of the season, this could be the one when everything turns. Frank? Yeah, yeah. I don't know who's going to be relegated, but I, I think there is, a, there is a reason why you're in that position. You know, when you see the games that they all played, the aggressiveness and in the wrong way from, from Leeds and all the mistakes, uh, the same for Everton uh, uh, today with the red cards and everything, something that can be av uh, avoidable, I would say. Uh, uh, and, and it's really a reason why you, you see the change of games and spirit where certainly they played well for 50 minutes and after they collapsed because of the red card, uh, because they complained because of a, a, a non-penalty just before, uh, they lose their spirit. Uh, even Coleman on the cross uh, with the on goal is not in the right position. It's, it's f football is full of details, but if you don't fill up all the cases, you know, you're going to be in trouble. And, uh, and I guess it's what's going on for Everton. And you see all game long, multiples of, uh, of mistakes will get them into a defeat. And that, that's no surprise for me that they are in that position. They might be the survivors of it. I, th I see Leeds as well going down uh, because of the schedule. But uh, Everton uh, didn't have a good season for sure. I get the sense that uh, Natum still reliving some trauma at this point. Well, it, it, feels, <laughs> it feels like this conversation is very uncomfortable yeah, for him. Very raw. Yes, very raw, still there, still alive. He can't quite get over it. And every time that you touch up on it, yeah. he sits back. He, he, he it brings back memories. Yeah, he, he, no, yeah. Good ones. It's, not, it's not a good yeah. time for Nadem right now. Um, but let's go to Nadem. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Everton just get it done, yeah. Nadem? <laughs> Well, to be honest, the fact that they're above the line now is a miracle for some because only two months ago, everyone said that they were the ones who were going down. They could not win a game, could not get a point, couldn't do anything. Players were injured, sick, suspended, everything. So they found that little bit of a burst just when they needed it. And that's, that's the thing about this point of the season. And I think Ali's right. Like, I've got, there's so much trauma. Like, once you feel it, you can't forget about it because, you know, we love the game of football, but we love it when we win. Nobody loves it when you lose. And when you're down there, you're losing more weeks than not. It's, it affects your whole life. The sort of, and the feeling of when's this next win, win, win going to come from. I could, even when we looked at those games there, the five games going to be played by those three sides between now and the end of the season. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, it's just as likely that there'll be no wins in the same way there might be one. You know, mm. that, that's how stressful that sort of position is. So, yeah, it, there's a lot of trauma in there. And Everton, you know, they're happy to be in the position they're in now because, to be honest, a lot of people thought they were doomed. 
and to feel like the destiny is in your own hands with those two games to go, that is great. But like I say there, you look at those, and if, if there was literally not a single point accrued by all three sides, would we really be surprised? Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.